Are you guys having issue with your controller not working on FC25? Well, if so, this is the video for you. Right, okay guys, so this is how you fix the big issue at the moment. So you come down to Steam, you go to Steam, and you click on these controller settings right here, and then you disable the Steam input. You want to disable it. Make sure it is turned off completely. And then what you want to do is you want to close off Steam as you do not want to boot the game through Steam. You want to open up the EA app, and then you want to turn off your controller. I am using the PlayStation 5 controller. I don't know if this works for the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox controllers as I do not own them, so I cannot test them. But this does work for the PlayStation 5 controller. Now, you want to open up FC25 on the EA app. So it will launch the game and I will come back when the game is launched. Okay, here we are guys. We are now at the loading screen for FC25. Okay, so now you want to turn your controller on. You want to turn it on and then everything will work perfectly for you. As you can see, the X works. I can press the X button to skip and it all works perfectly because so many people, including myself, have had so many issues today where the X button was the left trigger or the D-pad up and it just wasn't working. We couldn't get into the game. We couldn't even play the game. But this absolutely works. So guys, if you just want to follow these steps, I guarantee you it will work for you. And then you can go through all the menus and you can click on absolutely everything. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on Ultimate Team. There you guys go. It has logged me straight into Ultimate Team. It is that simple, guys. So if this video has helped you out, then please leave a like. So yeah, guys, I've been Yumiko and I will catch you all later. Uh, goodbye.